We often report about countries trying and failing to end wars and make peace. With the support of people on the Sun Coast now, a group on the other side of the world seems to be succeeding. A Riverview High School grad who is also a journalist and documentary filmmaker is investigating that group's work for peace in Rwanda. We'll talk to Adam Mazo in a moment, but first, take a look at the documentary he's working on. It has worked because I told them the whole truth. If we ignore each other, the genocide could happen again. And documentary filmmaker Adam Mazo joins us now. Thank you so much for coming in. It's good to see you. Thanks for having me. This is such a powerful story. Why are you telling it? It's just something that when I went there and saw what they're doing in Rwanda, it moved me. It's really an amazing thing that they're doing having genocide survivors. They've su survived some of the most horrible atrocities that you can imagine. And they're coming together. This group that's supported by people right here on the Sun Coast has, is coming together and bringing these genocide survivors together with the families of the perpetrators and getting them to raise goats together, form choirs, even sometimes go to the wedding. You'll have a, a, a killer go with his wife to the wedding of a woman who he himself killed that woman's first husband. It's just incredible. It is. Now I want to share with our viewers that Adam once worked here at our television station and then uh, worked here again for a brief time and at that time you went over to Rwanda and reported and that's mm -hmm. how you got involved in this? Exactly, yeah. I did s several stories for ABC7 and saw what they were doing over there and realized that I wanted to share more of, of what's happening over there because I, I, I saw that they actually have some amazing things to teach us. So often we hear about about what ap what we can teach Africa but actually these people in Rwanda have a lot to teach us about conflict resolution and how we can actually improve our communities through this conflict resolution because if they can forgive given what they've gone through then then who can't now are you looking for support for reach and i know that the one of the organizers is here in sarasota yeah absolutely the the organization reach which is what the documentary is about is uh is based in sarasota and also rwanda and their their financial base is here and we're working with them to make the documentary it's an independent film but we have the support of reach and you can learn more about it at peacedocumentary.org and they will th there you can find a lot of information about reach and also about what we're trying to do raise money to actually go and make the film and and then spread the message and what is ultimately your goal ultimately the goal is so that to, for people to see what is being done in in Rwanda and how it can be useful here i think that they have an amazing lesson to teach us about how we can solve our problems locally in Sarasota, across the country, and around the world. Wonderful. Well, good luck to you. And it's so nice to see you shooting up to those stars. Happy to have you here. And come back, please. And if you'd like more information, just go to our website, mysuncoast.com, and click on links we mentioned.